And now we've, we've shown that any surface, if we're given a surface, it connects some tori or it connects some projective planes. But there are some questions that are left. So, okay, so. A. So here are some. So we're not done. Wait a second. Oh, oh I, uh, thank you. Uh, the first question is if we're given a surface. Printable, then it's of the first type. If not, then of the second. Okay, so given a. And let's, let's expand on what uh, Andre was saying. Now let's call him. So a is. So a equals p if. Let's write down some criteria. So Andre said, one, if A is orientable. But let's sort of, let's define what this is by giving some, some equivalent criteria. So what does it mean to be orientable? It means that our right stays on our right or, with a, or wherever we go. Okay. But maybe if we can think of our argument and try and give a mathematical... Uh, description of that. So, for example, well, before we thought about orientability, well, how, how did we recognise if we knew that we, our connect sum would have would be of p's? Do you remember that if we if we had a connect sum with any p, what must we get in the end? If I had if we had if a is a connect sum of something with a projective plane, what did we know we must get? It was projective. Yes. We have to get a projective plane because any torus here gets swallowed up. It gets converted into projective planes. We, you know, we, we put in a torus and projective plane, we get a bunch of projective planes. Do you guys remember this? So this is the argument we did down there. So an equivalent condition here is A is orientable if we can write it as connect sum with a projective plane. Actually, well, I would say that is orientable if, if, well, if, if it's connect sum, if it's full connect sum, doesn't contain any projective plane. Well, I mean that if, uh, well, if it's word, let's say so, if it's word, it has no AA. Yeah, okay, so let's write another one. Uh, huh? It's another condition. Now we have a here. A word for A. This is pretty good. <laughs> oh, and actually, um, a word for a is wait a second, wait a second. Uh, about the first condition, a equals uh, oh, uh, not orientable. Not orientable. Yeah. Thank you. So those watching at home, not orientable, not orientable. <laughs> Thank you, not orientable. Not orientable. Thank you. Uh, so now, when we had the situation, we connect some predictive plane. When a word for a is a and then somewhere else in A. Do you remember this? Yeah. Okay, what are what are some other criteria I think we have? В каком случае ориентируемая? Если каждая буква входит один раз с как буква, а второй раз с палочкой. И если хотя бы раз она входит буква и буква без палочки то сразу ориентируемость теряется. То есть, вот если вы потеряли ориентируемость хотя бы на одной букве, то все. А чтобы была ориентируемая, каждая буква должна входить два раза, как буква и как в предположенном направлении. Non-orientable surface. Oh well, if that can be presented as a connect sum of uh, if a equals a connect sum of uh, a prime and some other non-orientable uh, surface. Okay, that might be. It might turn yes. out to be the same as this if we reduce it down. But so a is a prime with b and b is not orientable. You might see that that's the same as this one, whatever. 
But I asked you, what are, how could you describe orientability in terms of Möbius strip? Let's remind ourselves, what does a connect sum of A prime and P? It means you take a disk out of this, you get a disk out of this, and you glue the resulting surfaces of boundary. What is a projective plane minus a disk? Uh, it's a Möbius strip. It's a Möbius strip. So A must contain a Möbius strip. A contains. So let me draw a picture to explain this. So let's, let's, let's look at an example. So you must know all, all of those conditions are pretty much the same. Well, that's, that's certainly these are supposed to be equivalent. That's why I was asking you. So here we start with this definition. I was asking yes. what are some equivalent definitions. So if we have A. Okay, so here is our condition here. Yeah. We've already seen that this is, means that it's this, we have this, yes. uh, which is also this. Mm -hmm. And we, we see a movie strip in our picture. Well, if we cut it, yeah. And it contains a movie strip. So, so you want, do you see that if we have a word for A with AA, We've seen it's the same as predictive as we can make, write as a connect sum with a predictive plane. And which we can also see means that the gluing diagram contains a, a Möbius strip. And there's one there's one more way of if you look at our gluing diagram. Another way to think of orientability is say, you choose a rotational direction on your gluing diagram. So either clockwise or anti-clockwise. Either. This is clockwise. Oh, oh he asks, uh, what direction is C on the bottom facing? Oh, thank you. Um, you choose, which way? Left. Okay, so you, you pick either going clockwise or any clockwise, and now as you go around the the boundary, the edges, give it a plus if you're going clockwise, if you're matching the orientation. So for example, this arrow is going the same way as this arrow, so give it a plus. This arrow is going the same way, so give it a plus. This one's going the opposite way, minus. so give it a minus. This way is giving a plus. Plus a sine minus sine. See, so according to this this structure, and you're not orientable if you have two edges of the same label, but with different with different sides. Mm -hmm. With different or the yes, same? So the same. Uh, yes. Uh, Oh yes, we're the same, same side. Yeah, we're the same. same, but it's actually like the f the third. У него все одно и то же. Он ah. просто пытает, он, он боится, что вы ничего не понимаете, и пытается ah. шесть раз сказать одно и то же, просто для надежности. What was he just saying? There's a six. Uh, he was saying that you are afraid that we don't understand anything and that you're trying to say the same thing six times so that we understand. Well, I'm not. I'm. This, I'm certainly not concerned that you don't understand anything, but I think it's interesting to come up with different uh, criteria for orientability. If there is a side, there are a pair of sides. Same side. 